What up, Long Beach? Welcome back to your home for everything local sports. It's JJ. And Tyler. And this cross-country highlight is brought to you by Naples Rib Company. Currently open for takeout and outdoor dining. Visit ribcompany.com for more information. This game of the week is brought to you as part of our partnership with the Long Beach Post. More league giving up inactivity for Lent. It's Ash Wednesday, and after 11 months, we've got Long Beach High School sports back in the form of more league cross-country. Wilson visiting Milliken and their new track and field. Yeah, DeHaven Stadium has never looked better, JJ. This is a three-mile track through the halls, around the baseball field. We're getting a nice tour of Milliken's campus and and a great turnout for all levels and some really cool vantage points for parents and family members, limited family that could come watch their kids compete. It was great to see. The Varsity boys get the marquee race going in the afternoon. Milliken Rams trying to send a message to the rest of the league and Wilson looking for a good result to set up a good league run. And we're off. We've got Varsity Sports back in Long Beach, and it feels so good to be back. These teams have been practicing since August, and I just can't imagine how good it feels to actually be running for something. Yeah, everyone was so excited to actually be running against someone from another school, have it really count for something, and it didn't take long for the leaders to create some space. Uh, After that first lap, Milliken freshman Jason Parra way out in front and just continuing to pull away. The chase pack navigating around the bungalows and onto the baseball field. It's three laps around campus. They're about a mile each lap. And such interesting shots through the campus. Para, he's a freshman. He doesn't even know where he's supposed to hang out on Milliken's campus yet, and he's going through it. And the lead really got longer as the race got a little bit longer. The freshman making himself at home, and it was home course advantage here as the Ram underclassmen able to cheer on the leaders as they come around back on the track where the finish line also was and it's going to be para in his first high school race ever taking the win at 15 24. yeah he said his main goal was to be under 15 minutes but he'll take the win so he's got lofty goals as a freshman scott kirchhoff in second 15 37 in third the million dollar man sebastian dibiase 1609 and the top finisher for wilson jack wade the senior checking in at 16 20 and now it's time for the girls race to close it out jj the champs are here milliken coming off their first league title since 1993 hosting the baby Bruins the Wilson Bruins led by a few freshmen this year and as the girls race gets going uh, a more cohesive group right a little bit unlike the boys and I have to say again so much fun filming this we've pretty much ran out of ideas on how to film stuff at El Dorado Park but when you get able to get shots like this on campus can we just have every race at magic hour with the sun setting in the background I mean, it's a lovely time to run as well. I mean, we pay enough for rent, we should enjoy the scenery the way I look at it. No, it was it was a great experience. And when we got, you know, we got an old dog learn, learning new tricks, baby. It's great to see you at work, JJ. Uh, but before the girls can even finish a lap, a Ram is out in the lead. It's Isabella Stockalper was second at the Moore League Finals last year. And she started to pull away at that mile mark, just like in the boys race. Her lead just continued to grow and Milliken continued to push out and she was really in control for those final two miles. Let's play a little game, Where's Waldo? Where's the second place runner there? Stockelberg leaving everybody in the dust. And I love these little cuts that they made just to make sure that the track was three miles long. Gotta gotta keep it for record's sake as she takes it in for the win, 19 24 and it was a bunch of rams behind her yeah they had this the top six finishers hazel mcintosh coming in at 2010 rebecca perez 2022 and third then coming behind in fourth fifth and sixth anna blocker grace vasquez aaron aguirre all finish in that 20th minute Wilson's top finisher, freshman Sofia Alvarado, closing strong here, but unable to catch that last ram. But uh, what, a, what a great opportunity to see some competition and, and be out there and the excitement from the kids. It was really a fun event, JJ, and we're looking to covering a lot more cross country in the weeks and months ahead. Yeah, kudos to all the athletes, but definitely kudos to all the adults who made sure those athletes had a chance to compete. And shout out to all of our sponsors, including Ocean Law Center. Make sure you stay tuned to the 562.org for